Father, thank you again, dear God. I think you want me to share, God, today about the new era. I've already put this out in my services, in, my, in, the, in the Sunday morning uh, services, God, but you wanted me to bring this out again, that, we, that we're coming into a new era, but yet the, that this new era has already started. And we don't exactly know what all that means, but we do know that God has, is doing something completely new for this end time. This end time, and this end time might be 100 years. You know, we don't we don't know, but the bottom line is is God's bringing God's bringing things to pass in our lifetime that's out that's outstanding. Never would we have dreamed that we would be alive going through some of the stuff that we're going through, but God is bringing us into a new era of peace and prosperity this world has never known. So, Father, I glorify you, God. I thank you, Father. I bless you, God, for trusting us with the information that you have to share. Thank you that we can talk to your people, dear God, that's out there over the airwaves. You've talked to, you told my ministry, our church, to do something completely different and to go take the airwaves that we can re reach more people online than we can in person. That's just what you've asked us to do. God, and you've, you're changing everything for us to be able to go and to minister your word over the airwaves to everybody that will hear. It might be that one little nugget of truth that, that changes a person's life or it may be a whole bunch of stuff that changes a person's life. Father, I thank you for blessing myself and other people, God, in these prophetic offices, to be able to want to share the information. I don't want to hide this information, God. I don't want to keep this to myself. We want to get this out. We want to tell the people that God is a good God. Your Father in heaven loves you. Your Father in heaven has great mercy for you through his Son, Jesus Christ. And there's only one way to the Father, and that's through his Son, Jesus and that is by the power of the Holy Spirit, all the Trinity working together. Father, I thank you, God, for that you want this. You want people, God, to be able to get this. That we are coming into a new era. There's going to be new faces that you're bringing, bringing up in the in the in the church world and in, in the world. You need new people to be able to bring influence to your people, people that are going to lead God, your people, into righteousness and to holiness, and God, and allow, and help them. Dear God, there's people out there right now that think they're Christians, and they're really not, God. So, Lord, I ask you to open up the ears and, and the hearts of the people today to hear what you have to say. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, God, we bless you. God, we bless you. God, we thank you. God, we honor with you. God would have you have you remember that this new era, this new change, this new thing that he's bringing about, you're going to be able to see all of this with your own eyes. With your own, you're going to be able to hear these things that are happening that are astounding. You would never, God, Father, we, this generation hasn't even hardly seen your hand. Well, you're doing miracles all the time, but these great big outpourings and the showing out of God's great power, God's great power will show out. God's great power will show out and nobody on planet earth unless they're under a rock or on a deserted island will be able to, to be able to deny that Jesus Christ is Lord. God, you will do things that we have never seen before. God, you will show out your hands and power and might. God, there will be no excuse for anybody to face you on judgment day saying, I didn't know about you uh, or, or, or I didn't believe, I didn't, get, I didn't see anything because your great power, your might, God has been shown out, clearly seen by all the inhabitants, God. You're a God who does love. You're a God who is full of mercy. But you are a God that says, listen, this is the way I want you to go. I want you to walk in this way. I want you to come this way. I want you to move this way. I want you to take the steps this way. And so, God, we glorify you in that. You're merciful. You're kind. And you are a forgiver of sins. But those who don't repent, woe to them who don't repent. Woe to them who refuse to bow the knee to the living King, the living Jesus, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Woe to those who will not bow their knee in submission and uh, allegiance to Jesus Christ. Those people, it's not going to be a good day for them. But yet God has already sent Jesus to do the work. 
The work has been finished. Salvation has been accomplished. All these things have been done by Jesus Christ, and he is awaiting to award anybody and everybody who wants to bow the knee to Jesus Christ as Lord. Every single person. And no, you do not have to know everything there is to know about the Bible before you can call upon the name of the Lord. It's a heart thing with you to say, you know what? I may not know everything about Jesus, but I do believe that Jesus Christ is Lord because God said he was. I do believe Jesus Christ died on the cross because God said he did. I do believe that Jesus Christ was raised to life again, is now seated at the right hand of the Father because God's word says it is. And that's why we believe. And so, God, I thank you for this time, dear God, that you're allowing us to go through. For those who, for those who are submitted, to those who are yielded to God, your best days are ahead of you. You have no idea the, the sheer joy and the peace that God has for you. Like in the days of captivity of the Israelites over in Egypt, it was plagues and darkness and all kinds of stuff going on all over Egypt except for Goshen, where the Hebrews lived. There was, there was nothing going on. When it was dark in the land, it was light for them. When there was plagues going on in other places, there was no plagues going on in them. And it was a sign to the, uh, the Egyptians that God reigns and God is and that what's happening in the plagues and all these things is from the mighty hand of God because he made distinction between his people. God does make distinction between his people. If you are a genuine born-again believer who is living for the Lord, I don't mean that you're perfect, God, but I do mean that you, you are careful and you are walking it out and you're trying to do right and you're trying to be thoughtful. Listen, you're, you don't have anything to fear. God has got you. He has assigned his angels to keep you. He has given them a uh, charge over you. And hey, you're talking about a release of miracles, the release of miracles into your life. I'm talking about release in every place, in health, in finances, everything you can imagine of favor with God. That comes your way. God is going to recompense. If, if the evil are recompensed on the earth, how much more? or if the righteous are recompensed on the earth, and how much more the wicked. You are going to see some things, and I've already seen things, Father, in this last week here. I've seen your hand move in ways financially for us, you know, and it's, no, it's not a big, it, we're not talking of, but you did it for us. You're doing something mighty in our, in our lives. God, for one, it might be health to another, it might be this, but it's going to all be together, dear God. There's so many different things that you're going to be doing for different people, God, that are trying to live for you and are trying to keep the faith, God. Releasing, 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 releasing your power and your might. For the wicked, oh, they're gonna know, oh, you're, they're gonna know the judgment of God is on them. And when they cry out to him, he's not gonna answer them in that time unless they, unless they call upon him now. For the, right, for, the, for, the, for the righteous, those who are living for God, they're also gonna know your hand is very involved when they see all this stuff happening in their lives and they cannot explain how or where or where it's all coming from, whether it's physical health, whether it's, you know, financial help. Maybe they've been struggling and all of a sudden your favor touches their life and new job offers, new, uh, new things are going to happen for them. You're, there is going to be a lot of this almost unexplainable, but we know it's you. That's the thing. We know it's you. God, I speak over the people of America. God, I speak over every man, woman, and child in America in Jesus' name. Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is Lord. All power in heaven and on earth have been given. All power of rule, too, has been given to Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. He is the King. He is Master. And He is not leaving us in this condition. He is not leaving us as orphans. He is not leaving us without help. He is not leaving us without defense. That you, If you are a born-again believer trusting in, living for God. I don't mean you said a prayer, but you're going off living like a, a, a wicked, heathen sinner. Nobody can tell you apart from the rest of the world that you better put a check on your Christian walk you say you have because God's not playing around with that. But I'm telling you, if you're a born-again believer and you're trying to live for God, then again, I'm gonna say it again. You're des you've heard this probably before and others, that your best days are ahead. God is not gonna leave you without being recompensed in his mercy, his grace, 
his salvation, all these things. God created this earth too. We don't have to wait till we get to heaven to start enjoying God's gracious goodness. We don't have to wait to get to heaven before we start, um, we start enjoying our God. That is a big fat lie from the enemy that somehow we have to go live, live horrible lives while we're here. That's, that's not right. God is a good God and you need to celebrate now. Celebrate now God's goodness. Celebrate now his mercy. Look all around you and see his hands moving already for you in your life. Amen? Come on. Come on. God is doing a big old work in this earth, and he wants you to be in on it in Jesus' name. This new era has already begun.